Hello, this is the fast nutshell version of how I do my work every day for Yanko Radica. And uh, I start by, I, I have this folder on the desktop just called Yanko. Inside of it, I have all of my work. Uh, every once in a while, I'll get rid of these or I'll put them into a separate folder, but right now, I still, you can see I have 700 works that I've done. So it's been up this way for a while. Uh, I usually go like this where I have my newest works on top. I take the newest one and I duplicate it. Usually I'll make three of these. I open it up and I change the name. Actually, I change the name on here first to whatever the new design is called. I copy that, go in and I change everything to that name. Uh, inside of here there are several files. There's a text file which has the information I'm going to be putting in the post. Then there's, uh, you know, like three to five or more uh, images that will be inside the post. That's these ones. Then there's the layout, that's the tiny one that goes on the front page, and then the random designs. And then there's the not cut one, which will be submitted to not cut. I take these and I open them all at once into Photoshop. They pop up, and you can see there each of them are obviously from that previous design, which was the bug. Uh, each of them is the correct size already because they're the ones that I used on the previous project. Now, uh, this is unimportant, but this is this just shows what how how my text file is set up. It has you know the title and everything before the before the jump or whatever you call it. Information inside there, designer, and then this is the title. Um, so usually on my desktop, I'll have whatever I download from the emails or from the internet for the next uh, job. And this I'll just use this image for example. I'll open this the same way I open the other items. Now this is one of the images that the designer would have given us. As you can see, it's a picture of me and Elizabeth. Uh, I'll take, see this one, this one's pretty good. Uh, it's pretty much the same size, same format that uh, we will be using inside the post, so I don't really have to manipulate it that much. So I will select all, copy, close that, and then go into say for example my first image paste and it's too big so I go to edit and free transform uh, this the only the only part I use out of free transform is the scale and uh, usually I got you gotta click this to lock so that the height and the width stay the same or they stay relative and then I will make it the right size and I press return and it's sized. Now you can see that there probably is those there are those uh, invisible pixels outside of there or those transparent pixels are on the rim but because they're all covered up it becomes a non-issue. And I save it inside the folder, replace it, and then I do this for everything else. I save all the images and then they're all they're all in that folder ready to go. I use that text, upload it, and it's all in the folder and archived. And it goes super fast.